Um, what do I do? Okay, very good. Hi, everyone. Um, about seven years ago, I start, started my career in history. Um, prior to that, I had about 20 years of experience in sales, marketing, public relations, um, things that are not historic. Um, and so I came, at, I came at the position with a lot of different ideas. And what happened for the first six months or so is I kept hearing from people within my organization and even more people outside of my organization that you can't do that. These aren't things we do in history. Um, so that is why my thing is entitled, uh, you can't do that at a historic site. Um, why should we do the unexpected? Because, <laughs> because we can't keep up with our slides. Um, so we had some preconceived notions that we had to tackle. Um, people, this is what they thought of our historic site. They thought we were boring, they thought we were dusty, um, they thought we dressed up like dead people. Um, and, uh, and these are things that we, we did do. Uh, it didn't help us also that our house, our historic site, looked like this for the better part of 75 years. From 1936 through the early 1990s, um, the house was in a state of deterioration. Um, so people thought we were abandoned. Uh, we weren't. Uh, it was still occupied. Um, and people just didn't think we were very cool. And we are cool. Um, we have... <laughs> We are. We have over 100 events a year at the Hagler Karras Mansion. Um, we have a fascinating family story. We have stunning architecture. Um, we're in a great setting. And we're in LaSalle, Illinois, which is a pretty cool place to be, um, even without us. So what we had to do was rebuild our audience from scratch. And it was literally from scratch, uh, with membership, with programs, with tours, uh, with special events. In 2014, we had our 140th anniversary of the house being built. We had 140 events, and none of my staff quit. <laughs> and neither did the volunteers. Well, a few of them, but that's OK. Um, we changed our messaging after that point. Um, we used This Place Matters, which is something that we're all probably familiar with for historic sites. Uh, we used it on social media. This is a staged photograph of my nephews, um, but it made us look family friendly. So I'm going to tell you about all the things I was told I shouldn't do and couldn't do. I was told that we would not make money in a museum gift shop. Um, the year before I got there, our gift shop made $760. The next year, after I remodeled it, we made just shy of $10,000. Uh, we listened to our visitor. Our price points went down to about $20. It was much higher, um, and it's, it's doing very well. You can't talk about ghosts at a historic site. We push the envelope a little bit here. We are a formerly spooky house. So we capitalize on that a little bit because people want to be scared. Um, we do the same tour that we do in the daytime with all the lights off, and people are terrified. We don't do a thing. Um, you can't let people take pictures, but we do. We sell them a photo pass for $5. Last year, that netted us almost an additional $2,200, $5 at a time. We gave them our hashtags, we gave them our rules. Obviously, you can't move anything, you can't touch anything, but you can take pictures and post them to our page and we'll repost them for you. As far as children in a historic house museum, we uh, resurrected a program called Four Kids by Kids. Um, I have five nephews. I had them tell me what was cool about the house. And then they developed a tour that two of them, who are 10 and 13, give several times a year. And it's really fun. You can't film a music video here. Most of the people who call us want to film a horror flick. This was a beautiful video for a, a song called Broken. And if you see our house, a lot of it is broken. So it fit our theme. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny there. It really kind of is. Um, but the house was ethereal and beautiful in this video. And it really fit what we want it to do. As far as weddings, that was something that took some convincing. Um, but we charge $5,000 to have one in the house. If I have two a year, think of what that does to my bottom line. Outdoors, we do them for $2,500. We let people have classes here, pe classes that I don't have to run. We don't have an educator. We don't have a programmer. But we have people in the community who are willing to do yoga and tai chi and storytelling and dance and all of these other things um, out on our lawn. Speaking of our lawn, you shouldn't put a rock band on your lawn. 
what was the best thing that we did? Um, we started it in 2011, um, and it has been a source of such goodwill for us. It's been a moneymaker for us. Um, the first year, we netted $7 after I paid everybody, but now we have sponsors, and it's much, much more, so I've yet to lose money. Um, and it's really outstanding. So we kind of took the concept of Ravinia and right-sized it for our location in LaSalle, Illinois, using all local people. The neighbors love it. The neighbors who I was told would think it was too much traffic, they all show up. We also right-sized, do you remember MTVs unplugged? These are small, uh, 30 to 40 people can come in and see a local artist for a couple of hours in the winter time when we can't be out on the lawn. Um, and so that was another one. Um, back to the outdoor concert, the inspiration for that was Ravinia, and we right-sized that uh, with Music in the Air and the Summer Sunset Concert Series. Um, the neighbors have been amazing. Um, they weren't really fond of us before, and now they really are. Um, they police the area for me. Um, which, which is outstanding. So lessons learned from the unexpected. Um, it takes a long time to change people's perceptions. We still haven't won everybody over in town, but we're getting there. Uh, we still do dress up like Victorians once a year at Christmas, um, but we don't do it every day. Um, and we've changed the perception that we do. Um, and well, my last thing there was um, that if you're having trouble getting people on board with it, once you start making money, they will suddenly think it was their idea. <laughs> so thank you. So many words in such a yeah. short little bit of time. Okay. <laughs>